Toasted cookies. Oh, I can't wait to play some video games when I get home. That'll be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, home sweet home. I can't wait to play some video. You! Yeah, I thought we could play some video games. And since you did a movie review on it, I thought we could do the game Crawl. Want to join me? Oh, I guess so. Are you going to do the arcade version or the Atari 2600 version? Let's do both! Both Crawl games were made in 1983. The arcade was made by Gottlieb D. and Company and is split into five different events. In the first one, which is portrayed here, Coleman has to go up a mountain while avoiding boulders and retrieving pieces of the glaive. This differs from the movie, because in the movie, while well, yes, he does go up a mountain, he avoids boulders that are falling towards him, he has to go into a cave and retrieve the glaive from a bubbling pit of lava. The next event, or level, takes place in the Black Swamp, where in the movie they were on their way to the Emerald Temple so they could discern the location of the Black Fortress. But in the game, all Colin has to do here is simply throw his glaives, which he has more than one of, at the Slayers, which are trying to get him and his army members. If Colin can save all of his army members and kill all the Slayers, he can pass on to the next level. Alright, let's give this a shot. Shit. Double shit. All right, well, let's just skip ahead to the next level, shall we? Well, that was fun while it lasted, but damn, it's hard. All right, let's see the Atari 2600 version. For the Atari 2600 version, the first level takes place at Colwyn and Lissa's wedding. Then the Slayers come along to crash the party. Colwyn has to try to fight them off before they can take Lissa to the Beast. Eventually, though, no matter how much Colwyn fights, they're going to take Lissa away to the Beast. The next part of the game has Colwyn and Yanir traveling on horseback. Along the way, they can pick up glaives or extra lives that they find on the ground. You just have to press the button at the proper time when you pass over it. Once you get to the Widow of the Web, you have to avoid the webs and the spider and get to the gray door at the top of the screen. Then a blinking dot will show you where to go from there. Whatever you do, avoid the spider.
After that, you'll be on your way to the Black Fortress. And in true Atari fashion, the Black Fortress rises up out of the ground. And once you get inside, you'll be face to face with the beast who's holding Lissa captive. You must defeat him and free Lissa. And whatever you do, make sure to catch the glaive after you throw it. Don't miss it like I did. Oops. I like the movie way better. These games are kind of hard. I don't think I could beat them. This is around the end of the golden age of gaming, so most games were just simply trying to put a famous name to a game so they could try to sell product. In the end, though, I think both games were decent for their time, but like any other game around that time, it could have been better. Thanks for watching Gaming with Skippy. Hope to see you again soon. Hey, hit the like. If you like my videos, subscribe and share. Don't forget to like. Ha <laughs> ha!